Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a great photo inside old buildings using your camera phone. I'm Tara Rai from Atelier M Studio, and you can find me here. I'm going to go through three tips in this video, and tip number one is to find the stream of light, the really bright light, which could be coming in from a doorway or a window. Here I'm inside a church, and there's already a lot of great natural light coming in from the windows above, and so taking a photo with your camera phone anywhere in this church would actually turn out quite well and to make the photo a little bit more interesting i'm going to use the stream of light coming in from the doorway and you can see that the light coming in through the doorway highlights the church pews but it's really bright so i'm going to actually hold my finger over the doorway until the sun symbol comes up and while I'm holding my finger, I'm going to drag my finger downwards so that the exposure is locked and reduced. I'm gonna take a few photos and then apply my filter. Tip number two is to frame it using the existing arches and doorways in the building. Here I'm in the same church and I'm gonna take a picture of the altar using the exit doorway. I'm going to take another photo using the technique I just showed you. So I'm going to hold my finger down on the bright spot where the stained glass window is until the sun symbol comes up and drag it slightly downwards. By reducing the exposure, I get a different kind of effect. And in fact, it kind of looks like I took this picture during the evening. Tip number three is find the repetition or pattern inside. Here I'm in another church and again, the natural light is really good so any kind of photo would look really nice. However, to kind of make the photo more interesting, I'm gonna focus on the repetition of the arches as well as the windows that mimic the arch. And I'm gonna take a few photos and apply my filter. Now I'm gonna talk about editing and you can use any photo editor app on your phone. On your phone, you can hit the edit button or the pencil button and it'll bring you to the screen and hit the crop button. When I do this, I actually get the auto feature for correcting my perspective. It comes up automatically. And I'm just gonna use this to adjust the vertical and horizontal elements of my photo. And I'm gonna crop it slightly because when you crop it, part of the photo is removed. Here I'm going to manually adjust my perspective even though I took the photo correctly in terms of lines, I want to change the effect of it. Within the crop feature, I'm going to hit the horizontal skew button and that'll bring up more lines to help me adjust the skew that I would like. And I'm actually just going to straighten the doorway so that it looks like we're looking at the altar straight on. So after adjusting the vertical or horizontal perspective of your photo, you will have to do two things. One is crop it and to include the things that you want to in the frame. And the second thing that you'll have to do is straighten it. Uh, changing the vertical and horizontal perspectives will change alignment. So I wanna make sure that the doorway looks straight. Thanks for watching. You can find me at Atelier M Studio and this video is part of a blog article. You can subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos.